Wow, it's dark in here. It's cold too, and wet. What would it be like to be trapped in a tunnel underground? No sunlight, no any light, no vision, but tunnel vision. How could anyone survive? Despairingly. We're here in Kaumana Caves, outside Hilo, Hawaii. Lava caves like this are formed when a river of lava builds solid walls and a ceiling. When the lava flow stops and the last of it passes downhill, a cave is formed. These caves can be only a few feet high and only a few yards long, or they can stretch for miles with high ceilings. There's very little to see in the dark. People depend on vision to see where they're going, to realize potential, to find direction and be inspired, and to experience hope. Art brings light to people's souls by using the Earth's natural elements as words of a language that all humanity recognizes and understands. Art uses our external surroundings to describe our internal experiences. These ideas found in art guide our path, leading us to a new destination. It was imagination that inspired so much invention. In the last hundred years, the world has experienced an industrial revolution. And wow, have things changed. A young woman by the name of Joni was inspired by imagination. She believed while enjoying the benefits of the revolution, we should pull back on the reins of invention. And consider not only what is being gained, but what is being lost. She was moved to write a song about these ideas. Joni used a simple concept to describe this beautiful migration. Imagining modern technology being transformed back into natural design. She and millions of other people shared in this vision and dreamed of helping to define a new generation. Determined to question the values of this industrial revolution and start a whole new revolution of its own. A revolution devoted to peace and compassion. Our new and ever-evolving society is wonderful, but maybe we should also consider the science of our souls and the care of the planet. Simply living in harmony with nature. Joni asked us to take a journey back to a more organic life. Declaring we must get back to the garden. Today, a new generation of people are finding positive solutions to a balanced lifestyle. One that accommodates both the needs of mankind and the needs of our planet. I think we're all a little concerned about our global society and the well-being of the Earth. Come join us as we celebrate in this incredible song about getting back to the garden. Let's do it!